Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles. Now, today, we're doing a game review. A game review. Game, 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 so today, we're going to be talking about Save the Ninja Clan. Now, this is a game that recently launched for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and computer, and it's a pretty fun game. Basically, this game is about saving your ninja friends. You play as one of the various ninjas. You play as different ones throughout the game. They all have different powers, but you play as one of the ninjas and you try to save your three your friend. Now basically as you go through this, you have to run, you have to jump, you have to get over obstacles, especially saw blades, which you know if you've seen my Pearl Force videos, how much I hate saw blades, but you have to get over saw blades, things like that. You have to defeat enemies, you have to fight bosses, and this game will try your patience. If you've ever played a game called Super Meat Boy, that this game reminds me a lot of Super Meat Boy. Just the way it plays, how it's hard, the difficulty, all that other stuff. So now that you know a little bit about Save the Ninja Clan, let's talk about the meat and bones of this game. First off, the graphics. The graphics in this game are great. They're not anything spectacular, but they're not horrible either. This is a platforming 2D game, so you can't expect a whole, whole lot from something that, you know, isn't supposed to be a whole, whole lot. So for what it is, it, it has great graphics. Soundtrack in this game is very solid. It's not one of the best soundtracks I've heard, but it's also not one of the worst soundtracks I've heard. Finally, the controls in this game are solid. There's not a lot that you have to do with the buttons, but what you do have to do with the buttons works great. So now, gameplay. So as I said, as you play this game, uh, you have to jump, skip, all that other stuff. All you have to get around these obstacles and get through it to save your friends. Now, as you go through, there's different ninjas that have different powers. I will let you discover those ninjas and those powers, but there's a couple different kinds of ninjas. Each of them plays a little bit differently, so you're gonna have to learn how to use them. But, once you get the hang of them, it's pretty easy. Now, for those of you worried about the difficulty in this game, there is a slider somewhere in the game where you can change the speed of the game, which can help it make play a little bit better for you. Now, with that in mind, with that in mind, there's another way that you can play this game. The creators have installed something that I find unique and fun. They have put glitches in which, as you go through one of these glitches, you will see the game, they call him a game manager, get angry and tell you to go back and get on the right path. Now you'll see this in the video that I'm showing you over here, wherever. And he will not yell at you, you know, he'll get mad at you and it's just fun. It's a nice little change of pace. You can play through the uh, levels as intended or you can try to find these glitches and get through them that way. Either way, it is a fun game that will allow you to do this and it's just a lot of fun when you can do that. The mechanics are really similar to a lot of different games, but it's still a fun game overall. Now the cons of this game is, this game gets a little repetitive, no doubt about it. Now, the fact that it has this other built-in mechanic to the game with this game manager does help that repetitiveness, but it's still kind of a repetitive game. Also the length. There, if there was more levels, it would really help this game's case out a lot. Now, with all that being said, this game costs $2.99, guys. $2.99. So, you can't really complain about replayability and, you know, uh, 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 repetitiveness when the game costs $2.99. I just, I can't justify really complaining about that. But, we still have to score it based on how good the game is. We can't just score it on price. So, Save the Ninja Clan. Today, you get a 7 out of 10. It's a very unique game, very fun game, but it does draw from things like Super Meat Boy, things like that. And you'll see the resemblance if you've played any of those games. So, while it is a fun game, it's nothing that, you know, you haven't seen before. So with that in mind, 7 out of 10, you should definitely go check this game out. If you like games, platformers, jumping, jumping over things, you know, making people mad with the game manager thing, you will love this game because it's not that expensive. You're going to get a good game experience, but you're not going to break the bank doing it. So great little game. Definitely check it out. As I said, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the computer. So if you have any of those systems, check it out. Nice little game. Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Mumbles. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. 
please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, smack your face, smack, don't smack your face. But anyways guys, this is going to be Mobile Sun now. Have a great day everyone. Bye bye.